A lot of fusion research up till now has not been done using superconductors. It's been done using really powerful copper magnets because what the researchers cared about was getting the magnetic field so that they could do the plasma research and figure out if they could like uh, create and sustain fusion reactions in a superheated plasma. But those magnets being copper means that it's a no, it's a showstopper for efficient electricity production because the amount of current you're driving through those copper magnets dissipates an enormous amount of heat. If you actually look at the kind of energy bill for those classic fusion experiments, it's almost all on powering the copper magnet to hold it, you know, to hold the plasma in. And super conductors are the enabling insight that that huge chunk of energy that you spent running those magnets can be squished down to almost zero using these superconductors. They come up with all sorts of other pains, but we're pretty confident we can figure those out. Whereas just for fundamental dissipation of copper is just a rule we have to play by. So copper's out, superconductors are in.